So today I thought I'd do something I haven't done in a while and just examine a quote you'll often hear bandied about by atheists. Now the quote actually predates the New Atheism Movement, but as far as I'm aware it's received insufficient attention from Christian apologists, so I hope to remedy that today. It comes from Steven Weinberg, who is an accomplished physicist, and as we know, atheists who are also scientists are the doyens of New Atheism. But just because you're a Nobel laureate doesn't mean that you can say things that are massively stupid, and the quote in question is just an abortion of critical thinking. So let's take a look at it. With or without religion, you would have good people doing good things and evil people doing evil things. But for good people to do evil things, that takes religion. Okay, so let's take this quote in its own terms, and let's do so by using the atheist's favorite example of Joseph Stalin. So when Stalin executed hundreds of thousands of orthodox believers and clerics, he didn't do so because he was under the thrall of the notion that religion was poisonous superstition that was stifling scientific progress in the proletarian revolution. No, he did so because he was a bad egg. So if you imagine some alternate history where Stalin had instead pursued his seminary studies and had become patriarch of Moscow and had somehow used his office to exterminate all Jews and atheists, uh, despite the fact that his religion explicitly commands thou shalt not kill, but still, he had done so expressly in the name of religion, he still wouldn't have done so because of religion, because, as we've already established, he was just a bad egg. So the quote establishes a distinction without any apparent difference. We have no objective way of telling the difference between an evil person doing evil who happens to be religious and a good person doing evil because they were corrupted by religion. In fact, we have no way of telling if these good people corrupted by religion even exist. When a theory fails to provide the determining criteria for the categories it takes for granted, it lacks any sort of explanatory power whatsoever. It's unverifiable, it's unfalsifiable, and if atheists were honest with themselves, they would call it what it is, which is a deepity. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.